ഹായ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ദി ഓൺലൈൻ ക്ലാസ് ഓഫ് ശ്രീ ഗോകുലം പബ്ലിക് സ്കൂൾ ഗുരുവായൂർ ഐ എം സ്വാതി യുവർ ഐ ടി ടീച്ചർ ഹൗ ആർ യു ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഹോപ്പ് യു ഓൾ ആർ ഫൈൻ ആൻഡ് സേവ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഇൻ അവർ ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് വി ഹാവ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് അവർ ഫോർത്ത് ചാപ്റ്റർ ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ടു മൈക്രോസോഫ്റ്റ് എച്ച് എൽ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ടെൻ ആൻഡ് വി ഹാവ് ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടൂൾസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ഇൻ മൈക്രോസോഫ്റ്റ് എച്ച് എൽ also we created a blank workbook isn't it children yes and its name is book one so today we can discuss about different data types and also how to enter data into the excel worksheet so children so the first topic is data types so what are data types yes types of data that we enter into our worksheet so here you can see different types of data so there are three types of data the first one is numbers which means the numeric values like natural numbers and whole numbers and by default the numbers are right aligned the next data type is text text includes alphabets words and letters so here you can see yes so it can entered into the cells and they are left aligned by default and the next is formula so what is an formula yes it is an expression used to perform calculations on numbers so here you can see a formula that is sum of c3 to c7 so it means the number in the column c3 which is that number 18 and the number in the column c7 is 19 so it is the sum of numbers from column 3 to column 7 that is 18 plus 15 plus 19 plus 20 plus 19 so when you use this formula it is used for calculating the sum of that numbers children so these are the three types of data numbers text and formula and the next is how can we enter data into the excel sheet children do you remember this table yes we have discussed about it isn't it children yes so our task is to enter these data into our excel worksheet okay so shall we start yes so how can we start yes by typing the topic subjects okay so how yes click on the cell where you want to enter the data and start typing so this is the first method by which you can type your text or numbers into the cell or you can use another method here you can see yes a formula bar is there see and there you can enter your text so first you have to select the cell where you want to enter data and then go to the formula bar okay so that the cursor will appear there and start typing so whatever you typed in that formula bar will appear on the cell also okay just like this okay then after typing the heading subjects or anything or any text press enter key so here you can see a tick mark and a cross mark so what does it mean tick mark means enter button and cross mark means cancel button so if you typed anything incorrect or type by mistake you can click on the cancel button to avoid that to delete that or if you typed the correct thing that you have to enter into the cell you can click on the enter button okay yes children if you want to enter a blank row after the heading just like this press the enter key or click on the enter icon once again okay so that the cell pointer will go to the 
a3 okay just like this and there you can enter the different subject names the next is how to change the size of columns okay so here in column a you can see i have entered a subject name malayalam so it is a long name isn't it so it extends to the next column too that is the width of column a is not sufficient so we have to change the size of the column so how can we change yes so click on the boundary between column a and column b here you can see this is the boundary okay so place the mouse pointer on this boundary and drag it towards b and drop the partition at a position where column a gets sufficient space like if you feel that there is enough space to enter your text then you can stop it so till that you have to drag children now you can see i got sufficient space to enter my text so similarly you can increase or decrease the heights of row okay children children now we have completed our first column so let's move to our next column so which is that column yes maximum marks so give the heading maximum marks after that press the enter key to give a blank space under the maximum marks then enter all the marks for each subject okay yes so here you can see in the column b the heading maximum marks is left aligned isn't it children yes and numbers which are right aligned so in order to make it more presentable we can change the alignment of text how so here you can see different alignment options so click on the center align icon here you can see it is the center align icon so select the center align icon for all the headings so the headings will be aligned center okay yes see children yes the heading maximum marks is center aligned like that we can align all the headings to center and the next is about auto sum feature okay children it is used to add the marks to get the sum of the numbers so here yes we have already entered all the marks in our third column isn't it children so we can use this auto sum feature of excel to calculate its sum how let's see so first select the cell below the last mark okay like this and make it the active cell and after that here you can see the auto sum feature in the editing group okay click on that and select cells that contain marks of subjects from the first one is maths till malayalam okay that is sum of c3 to c7 and click on enter key so there will appear the sum total of all the marks in the active cell okay that's how you can find the sum okay sum of all the numbers using the auto sum feature in microsoft excel so children try to practice these features okay practice and learn that's all for today let's see in the next class with some new features of microsoft excel till then bye